Yes guys and welcome back guys for a brand new video guys on my channel guys and yes guys I'm going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played. Chelsea guys away from home at Stamford Bridge. We've just seen Manchester United lose four goals to three away from home. Bunch of bottle jobs to be honest with you. Lost for words. I'm speechless. A disaster. It's horrific. Just can't believe what I've watched. That's unacceptable. Embarrassing. We should have won this game. In a position where we look comfortable just to lose it like in that manner. Not good enough. Disappointing that we have to move on. It's disappointing. Guys let's get in today's game next we made three changes from last game against Brentford talking about the starting elements we started with Arnano, Wabasaka, Maguire, Varane, Dallo, Casemiro, Maynou, Anthony Fernandez, Ganacho and Hoyland get into the other reaction now bottle jobs I'm speechless lost for words disaster horrific unacceptable can't believe should have won dropped three points not good enough fucking pissed off and angry in the manner we lost it right at the end i don't know how we lost that disappointed annoying and frustrating it was an okay start both teams were working each other out chelsea go one nil up they're faster united look vulnerable defensively individuals making too many mistakes united got to show a response and a reaction i thought it was an okay reaction united committed men forward mudrick had a chance wide united tried to get back into the game. Anthony had a chance. Modric causing problems down the left hand side channel. United had a chance, had time to cross the ball in. Anthony gives away a penalty in 2 0 to Chelsea. United are making mistakes. United look clueless, lacking ideas going forward. United just not showing any desire for aggression. Dallo had a chance wide. Dallo shooting from distance. Fernandez had a chance. Ganacho scores for 2 1. United capitalised on a Chelsea mistake. Mainly had a chance. United kept pushing. Fernandez scores a header for 2 2. United need to stay tight and compact. United need to frustrate Chelsea. Gallagher hit the post. First half was over. Okay. United got to regroup and go again. We've got to do better. We've got to create more. We've got to expect a reaction and response from Chelsea. When we get our chance, we've got to take it. To pick up the intensity and tempo. We've got to bring energy and intensity. We need to keep hold of possession better. We need to kill the game off. Ted Hard makes a personal change. A good start. United on the front foot. Maguire had a chance. It's competitive end to end open game. Chelsea had a chance. Great save by Ronaldo. Chelsea passing it around, trying to get through United's defence. United had a few opportunities on the counter attack. Fernandez had a chance. Hoyland had a chance. Corner for United. Casemiro had a chance over the bar. Palmer had a chance. Saved by Ronald. United growing in confidence going forward. Ten Hag makes two more substitutions. Great pass by Anthony and Ganacho scores for three to. United are cruising and look comfortable. United defensively doing a good job. Ronaldo making some big saves in big moments. United trying to see the game. Pochettino makes a few substitutions. Chelsea searching for an equaliser. Ten Hag makes a substitution. Chelsea are pushing. Chelsea get an equaliser for three. For lack of concentration. Heads drop. A bit of luck for Chelsea and score for four three. Got to learn from it. It's not good enough. It is what it is. Got to dust ourselves off. Go again on Sunday. Move on. First half was okay. Second half okay, but crumbled at the end. Overall, not good enough before. Performance. Anyway, guys, let's get straight to this video right now. What did I make of the performance? I think the performance overall was just not good enough in the end. I think it was horrific towards the end. Uh, lack of concentration from Manchester United um, in a game where you know United had a slow start, poor start, went two 0 down within less than twenty minutes uh, of the game. I know we show great team spirit, character and fight to get back into the game and great resilience as well from the team to come back to get it back to 2-2 two, two as well. And then to have sort of some control and dominate that game as well and uh, to get it back to... And then actually and actually to lead the game 3-2 as well, uh, to come back as well. And if, we won, and if we would have won this game, we would have said come back Kings and uh, we're in a great position of going to win this game 3-2 and then we just crumbled right at the end. I think we just couldn't deal with Chelsea's pressure and uh, they found an opening uh, for the, to get it back. Well, to get a penalty and uh, they get a penalty, a, a penalty that was never a penalty and then get it back for 3-3. Free, free. Then you think you maybe just take the point and then we crumbled right at the end and a set piece where somebody should have closed that angle down and uh, just to prevent that from happening. But first goal was prevent first goal was pre 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 first goal was preventable two of the penalties were not penalties and uh that last goal just was just just says everything about it and just sort of the wrong body language and just no desire uh towards the end and just lack of concentration right at the end and yeah just not good enough from united and bunch of bottle jobs to be honest with you Lost for words, speechless in many ways. 
when you're looking like you're going to go and win this game 3 2 as well. Both teams were shit as well. Chelsea, billion pounds, like we always say, Chelsea, they're a billion pounds and still shit as well. Um, you know, just going to win that game 4 3, probably having a party in London tonight as well after beating United 4 3. Uh, it's a disaster, it's horrific and uh, unacceptable. And uh, just can't believe what I've just witnessed myself. Should have won the game in a position where we were in as well and we dropped three points. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I tell you what, there's going to be some twists and turns in this, in the top four, in the race for top four. I think you're still going to keep some hope. Uh, I think you're still going to have to, I think you still have to have some hope as well. And uh, for whoever who's going to try and blame Ten Hag for that, I think they need to look at themselves and say, look, the players gave it everything at the end of the day. We had two penalties that should have been never been penalties. They were soft, dodgy. And uh, whoever's trying to blame that on Tang Hag needs to go and support another football club after that. So, yeah, just pissed off that we... Pissed off and angry that in the manner that we lost it right at the end. And I just don't know how we lost that right at the end. And just speechless. It's hugely disappointing, annoying and frustrating. And uh, it's just... Uh, uh, heartbreaking as well and uh, just not good enough and not United standard as well so yeah just lost for words and got nothing to, got nothing much more to say anything about it as well because I'm lost for words myself and thought the three points was in the bag at 3-2 but again should have killed the game off for the fourth goal you're at 3-2 you bring Rashford on you're thinking oh shit here we go again and then uh, we're going to concede two goals in a space of a couple of minutes and not good enough at the end of the day. But anyway, guys, getting into the game now. I thought it was an OK start by Manchester United. I think uh, both teams were sort of trying to work each other out early doors. And then fast start by Chelsea, go 1-0 up. I think uh, Chelsea were making runs in from behind Casemiro. And I think, you know, the midfield was just invisible at times as well. Uh, you know, I thought United looked vulnerable defensively as well, early doors as well. And uh, we still are after conceding four goals as well, and but two of them were penalties, dodgy penalties as well. And I thought we were, I think individually, we were making too many mistakes. You know, uh, and then at 1 0, you're thinking, right, let's go and show a response and a reaction. Now, I thought we actually showed a, an okay reaction. You know, we went 1 0 down, we got on the front foot, we tried to make things happen. But then uh, a big kick in the teeth, then, and then we're just going, uh, you know, we're committing forward, uh, committing men forward. Mudrick has a chance wide. And then after sort of having a good reaction after going 1 0 down and going behind in the game, Anthony has a chance. And then, you know, Mudrick was sort of causing Wabasaka some problems down the left hand side channel. And then, uh, you know, Anthony gives a penalty away. And Chelsea make it 2 0, and it's never a penalty. And then just before that, as well, United had plenty of time to get that crossing as well, and, uh, which could have been, you know, if we would have took our time on that and got it right, we uh, would have definitely probably got it back into the game as well. But then I thought we were making far too many mistakes. We looked clueless as well. We didn't know what we were doing, lacking ideas going forward. We we're just not showing any desire, fight, and aggression. Uh, we, again, just couldn't do the basics, but then we just then we just knew we had to get back out to our basics and start creating chances. Uh, Delo had a chance wide, and then again, you say to your players, stop shooting from distance. Delo does it as well, and then I thought United, fair play to them, showed some good team spirit, good character, good fight, and uh, United were pushing, committing them forward, and then. Uh, you know, mistake by Chelsea, can actually capitalises and uh, scores for 2-1. Mainly had a chance, United kept pushing. Fernandez scores a header for 2-2. Then you're thinking, right, we're back in the game now. This is going to be a bloody classic from Manchester United. And then you're just saying, right, let's give it time, compact, let's frustrate Chelsea. Uh, Gallagher hit the post towards the end. I thought it was an OK first half. And then... Uh, it was just all about let's regroup, go again. That team change, that team talk changes for Ten Hag as well. We knew we needed to do a bit better as well, and uh, we needed to, um, you know, uh, 
and then we knew we also needed to show that we wanted it more than them as well and uh, you know create more chances you know expect a reaction and response from Chelsea as well and uh, when we get our chances we've got to take them we've got to pick up the intensity and tempo bring more energy and intent about us as well and when we get possession we just have to we have to utilize it and be better in possession as well and kill the game off as soon as we could as well and then Ted Hall was forced into making a, a change early doors around was injured Good start for United on the front foot. Maguire had a chance. I thought it was competitive end-to-end open game. Uh, you know the you know both Chelsea's and United's midfields were invisible at times. It was just one of those sort of games like no tactics. Let's just try and give it everything that we've got. And uh, you know Chelsea, I thought they were shit as well in that first half, and the majority of it I just got lucky right at the end. You know Chelsea had a chance. Great save by Onana. Uh, Chelsea passing it around, trying to get through United's defence. United having a few opportunities on the counter-attack, which we did very well in, just couldn't use them as well, and couldn't take our chances. Fernandes had a chance. Hoyland had a chance, corner for United. And then Casemiro had a chance so, uh, a chance over the bar. Palmer had a chance saved by Ronana. Uh, you know, United growing in confidence going forward. Ten Hag makes substitutions to see if they make an impact and an influence in the game. Great, lovely pass from Anthony and Canaccio. Scores for 3 2. And then uh, United were sort of cruising, looked comfortable, uh, defensively doing a good job as well. Ronaldo making some big saves and big moments to give us in the game. And then, typical United, we're trying to see it out. We should, we should have been more, uh, more aggressive, more ruthless, and, uh, you know, couldn't take our chances where we should have took our chances as well. And uh, not clinical as well in front of goal. And then Pochettino tries to make some substitutions at the end to see if they could make an impact and an influence on in the game. You know, Chelsea was searching for an equaliser. Ted Hark makes a personal change. And then Chelsea was sort of pushing, putting pressure on. And then, uh, again, get a penalty that's not even a penalty. And a uh, free free, And then uh, and then they get a set piece. Then you're thinking, let's close that angle down. Lack of concentration, heads drop. And... Uh, Takes a massive deflection off McTominay or Maguire. And a bit of luck as well when they score for 4 3. So, uh, simply just not good enough from United. And just have to dust ourselves off. Got to go again now. It's not good enough. We've got to learn from it. And uh, it is what it is. And hard one to take. We've got to take it on the chin. And uh, it's heartbreak for United. But uh, what a what a disappointing loss. And to give it everything all out on the pitch. And to get done by two shit penalties as well. So it is what it is. We have to just have ourselves off and go again now on Sunday. So um, yeah, it is what it is. We move on. Overall, in the end, it's disappointing and annoying frustrating to walk away with no points. I'm still myself trying to get over what I've just witnessed myself. There was positives to take away from the game to come back 2-2 and take the lead for 3-2. We didn't concentrate, the heads dropped and it's not good enough. Yeah, exactly. Just simply not good enough towards the end. Show that desire and a bit of that aggression. Close that angle down and don't let that ball come in as well. I think the game management was a complete mess. A lack of organisation from Manchester United. Somebody should have come out and said, look, I'm just going to take take a gamble in. Take a tackle for the team. Take one for the team. Just take a yellow card for the team. Put three, three, and even if a point would, would have been disappointed. It's just it's preventable. First goal of Chelsea is, is preventable. And their last goal is preventable as well. Lost for words as well myself. I'm speechless. You're dealing with bottle jobs on the pitch that couldn't see after the game at 3-2. But then you got to show. That ruthlessness to go and kill the game off. Show more aggression about yourself to go and kill the game off for four to. Should have got another one. And I think that substitution killed it when Hoyland went off for Rashford. It's a disaster. It's horrific. It's unacceptable. Can't believe it. We should have won. We dropped three points, to be honest with you. It's not good enough. Just fucking pissed off and angry right at the end to go and lose that right at the end. I don't know how we lost that. It is what it is. We move on. It's disappointing, annoying, frustrating. Just have to dust ourselves off. Go again. Big game on Sunday and out against Liverpool. Can't dwell on it. You just have to a few minutes in the dressing room and say, look, we're not good enough. We should have won that. Can't dwell it on too much. You've got a big game now on Sunday against Liverpool. Big rival. Just have to dust yourselves off. Go again. Learn from it. Just go again now on Sunday against Liverpool. What went wrong? Too many things went wrong for United yet again. We made some wrong decision making in the game. I always say in my videos, decision making is always vital. There was times where in the decision making where we're not making the right pass as well. Maybe not finding that last 
last pass and that end product in the final third. Just making the wrong decisions going forward, making the wrong pass. Biased referee from the referee. The referee was just giving everything to Chelsea, barely gave nothing to United as well, which also cost us the game as well. Substitution as well. That substitution for, for Hoyland for Rashford just goes for it. Rashford just, just simply does not want to be there. It's just jogging, not putting any pressure onto the opposition, preventing these goals, just not going off from Rashford as well. I did sort of think, oh Jesus, Rashford's coming out. He may not be having a great season, but Jesus Christ, at least do the basics, Rashford. Individual errors costed us as well. We made mistakes in the first half and the second half as well. Lack of concentration, the heads dropped as well. Lack of organisation at times as well. I think we're vulnerable defensively. Lack of aggression and desire at times as well. Two shit and dodgy penalties that cost us that weren't even penalties as well. I think game management was a complete mess as well. Lack of in-game intelligence. I think also we just got complacent in the dying moments of the game. I think that's just what went wrong for United in the game. Simply not good enough. Speechless at the end of the day. The two penalties that Chelsea got awarded, both of them were soft and dodgy, yet they got checked by VAR and still got awarded is staggering. I'm lost for words with these two penalties, to be honest with you. I've even had to watch them back on the highlights as well after the game. That first one, Anthony doesn't make any contact with Gusto, I think. You know, just goes down like a sack of spud. Players die usually like that. Try to get a penalty like that. It should be a yellow card to that player straight away and you move on and for VAR to look at that and say that's a penalty that's a fucking joke and then the second one as well where's the contact again like with the first one I think it's not like Anthony's clipped him or anything like that never touched him these two Chelsea players have just fucking died they should be saying he's died it's no penalty and it's a yellow card for the Chelsea player move on you can't be given penalty when players have died it's not good enough just because they've made a running from behind it's got to be a penalty and that it's a slight touch there's no fucking contact soft dodgy the first one is just as bad that's never a penalty second one like the exact same one the first one no contact he's made the running from behind it's because of his arm that's trying to stop and he goes down like a sack of spuds again over a penalty yet again it's staggering it's absolutely staggering but to be honest with you i want the pg and my to come out and apologize to united after those two penalty decisions no doubt they'll have another blood session with Howard Webb and he'll have his bloody say on that. And no doubt they'll come out and say, yeah, we got it, we apologise. First thing tomorrow morning, Friday morning, we need an apology to PG MOL and say, we got it wrong. Yeah, fucking right you got it wrong because they were both, they were both shit, soft and dodgy penalties that were not even penalties. Staggering. There's only three days now until our next game against Liverpool, a chance to bounce back and get back to winning ways. Is it the case of dust yourselves off and go again on Sunday? Exactly, we've got another big game now on Sunday. You can't dwell it on too much. You can only feel sorry for yourself for a couple of minutes in the dressing room and say, we should have done better. We should have closed that angle down. On that set play, we should have done better. It took the point to go in, a, in the dressing room after the second 45 minutes. And to lose that game four for it, the players will be absolutely disappointed. They'll be raging, they'll be absolutely fuming with that. Rightly so, they should be. It's just the case, we've got to dust ourselves off. We've got to learn from it. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Review it back, analyse it back. We've got another big game now on Sunday against Liverpool. Big rivals, and we've got to come up with something good against Liverpool to go and beat our biggest rivals. The derby day on Sunday, we've got to get ourselves up for it. And the players will be there, and we've just got to show it on Sunday against Liverpool as well. Big performance needed, the players will be there. Just have to dust ourselves off and go again now on Sunday. It was my man, the man. I think there were some players that had a good performance. I think there were some players were debatable and didn't really have a great game. I thought Onana made some big saves and big moments. The keep was in the game. Should have been better with the first goal as well. Couldn't do anything about the last goal because it took a deflection. Should have been better with the two penalties as well. Could have at least saved one of those penalties as well. The first goal is just as should have got his hand to that and he should have saved that first goal as well. wan thought he did okay. Maguire, Varel. Varel went off injured. Maguire was okay. I thought Delo was was good as well, put a good cross in. I thought Casemiro wasn't great. I thought Maine did okay at times. Fernandez, I thought, was okay. Anthony had a good game, I thought. But Ganacha had a good game as well. And Hoyland, again, just isolated. Again, did great a chance. But again, he's just gone back into hiding. He, players just can't find him. It would have been nice if Hoyland would have got us the win. Or Mason Mack. To be honest with you, I think I'm going to give this Ganacha two goals. I thought Anthony had a good game as well. So I think I'm going to give it to Ganacha and Anthony. I thought, that, I thought both of the wingers played well in this game. But just couldn't get over the line. And the end of the day how do we beat liverpool now see we've got liverpool now in our next fixture now on the weekend look tough game against liverpool now it's going to be an incredible it's going to be a big encounter for both teams look big performance needed i think it's going to be a tough performance it's going to be a tough game for manchester united like i said in the fa going into the fa cup game against liverpool we know that we can hurt this liverpool team we know that we can Go into this game and say, look, you know, we might have lost to Chelsea. We just have to dust ourselves off. Go again now against Liverpool. Big game, big going up against your biggest rivals on Sunday. You're going to war with Liverpool. 
So uh, you just go, look, big performance needed. We have to just dust ourselves off, learn from that. And it's just all about, you know, round two now against Liverpool. You know, Liverpool will want to get... Liverpool will want to get their own back after getting knocked out in the FA Cup. They'll need to win this as well for the Premier League to stay in the race as well. It's for United to go and ruin it and spoil the party at Old Trafford as well. The fans will get right behind the players as well in this game as well against Liverpool. So it's the case of the fact that you know we need all fans to get right behind the players. You know the uh, the fat uh, the uh, the fans will get right behind Ten Hag in this as well. I think it's the case of the fact that a big performance is needed. We need a big strong. Big strong discipline performance by Manchester United. We need a professional performance by Manchester United. It's all it all starts defensively. You know you've got to defensively keep it tight and compact. Frustrate Liverpool as well. Liverpool, we know what their capabilities are. You know they're gonna come on the uh, they're gonna put come on the front foot with loads of energy, uh, and high intensity, high tempo. Uh, they'll come in your faces, uh, aggression. Uh, they'll be rampant. They'll be. Uh, uh, they'll show the intent in their play as well. They'll show that conviction about themselves. Uh, so, um, you, you know, Liverpool will want to get their own back. They want revenge after getting beat in the FA Cup. They know that they've got to win this game to keep the title race alive as well for themselves. So, um, look, it's a big game for both teams. Both teams don't want to lose this. Uh, one team will come out on top. I won't be surprised maybe if this is a draw. So, um I think for United to have any chance of winning this, we need maybe a miracle, and uh, you know maybe just you know we, I think we this is a game where we'll, we will have our opportunities, we will have our chances. When we get our chances, we have to take them as well. So it's just a case of the fact that if, when we get our opportunities, we know we can cause them problems, uh, left, right, and centre. We did it in the FA Cup. We can do it again. And uh, when we uh, and when we get our opportunities, you've got to take them and uh, be sharp in front of goal, show that composure. And, uh, and uh, you know, you just have to be brave, take risks in this game against Liverpool. And we, it's just the fact that we have to win over that midfield and, you know, we have to do a bit of both of defend defensively. You just have to do a bit of both. When they come at us, you just got to defend. And then when we get possession, it's all about offensively what we want to do. That's what it's all about against Liverpool. We did it at home, beat them 4-3 in the FA Cup. Let's go for round two. We're going to war again. And let's go and do it again on Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp describes his football as heavy metal football. High energy, intense style of play that aims to overwhelm the opposition. His teams are known for their pressing and counter-attacking ability with quick transitions from defence to attack. Liverpool, they've got their injuries at this moment and stage. They've got a rejuvenated midfield. But they'll be aggressive, ruthless. They'll get between the lines. They'll put the pressure onto us when they don't have possession. They're very good on set pieces. We've got the work hard to win the ball back. They're very physical, very direct. When we get, they'll get in our faces. They'll come at all at different angles. They'll bring the energy, intent, high intensity, high tempo. Um, they'll bring courage and conviction about themselves. They'll look to control, dominate the game, exploit and expose the spaces of the pitch. You know, they'll want to have a lot of possession as well. They'll be relentless. They'll stay in attacks, look to be strong. They'll take... They'll take risks, they'll be brave as well. United have just got to defend properly, defensively be organised, keep it tight and compact, defensively frustrate them. We need to be ruthless, relentless, aggressive, high intensity, high tempo, of energy, create the chances, take your chances. We need to be clinical, get the crosses into the box, stand about position, be brave, take risks. So that pieces could come into play. Play play with width, get between the lines, got to close them down, don't let them get back in the game. Don't leave any spaces open. They'll show incredible team spirit, character, and fight. <sighs> got to do the basics right. Game management, decision making will be vital. Got to get tight. Don't get a shot off. So sing your attacks. Do your basics. Win your 50 50s. Win your second balls. Win your duels. Win your 1v1s. Put them on the back foot. Keep possession. Full backs have got to be effective. Force them to make mistakes. Put them under pressure. Don't let the run get cut back inside. Don't afford to make mistakes. Make the runs in from behind. Don't get pulled back. Don't get pulled out of position. Be explosive and keep Salah and Diaz. I mean, as a quiet. Getting to the goal style. First goal. Ganacho pass the ball to Fernandez. Fernandez skied it. Anthony regained possession. Cancelo gives the ball away and Ganacho capitalises and scores with two. Second goal. Anthony fans space to Ganacho. Ganacho controls it. Pass the ball to Dalot. Dalot puts in a beautiful cross in and Fernandez heads it in for two. Two. Third goal. Mistake by Baza Shahil. Anthony wins the ball back. Pass the ball to Rashford. Rashford pass the ball to Anthony. What a pass by. Anthony to find Ganacho and Ganacho heads it in for 3 2. Getting into the stats, possession for Chelsea it was 56.6%, and for Man United it was 43.4%. Also, for Chelsea it was 4, and for Man United it was 3. Total shots for Chelsea 
Chelsea, it was 28 for Man United, it was 90. Shots on target for Chelsea, it was 10 for Man United, it was 5. Shot accuracy for Chelsea, it was 37.7%. For Man United, it was 26. 0.3%. Shots in the box for Chelsea, it was 19. And for Man United, it was 3. Shots in the box for Chelsea, it was 9. For Man United, it was 6. Total passes for Chelsea, it was 549 passes. And for Man United, it was 426 passes. The pass accuracy for Chelsea, 85.6%. And for Man United, it was bang on 80%. Getting to the substitutions now for Ram went off for Evans. Talking about Raphael's performance. Held the fall as best he could, but come off injured at half time in the second game running and was replaced by Johnny Evans. Evans went off for Quambala. Talking about Johnny's performance, was performing excellently until he also had to come off injured. Hoyland went off for Rashford. Talking about Rasmus's performance, left Dallow's cross for Fernandez to head it in. Put a shift in, but never looks like putting the ball in the back of the net. Casemiro went off for McTominay. Talking about Casemiro's performance, reduced to some desperate sliding tackle, often exposed and got away with one late in the first half, more solid in the second. Ganacho went off a mount, talk about Alejandro's performance, coolly scored from Moses Cancelo's blind pass in the 28th consecutive start for United and headed to an expert who put them 3-2 up. Next up we've got Liverpool, Liverpool are first in the league, look it's just like what I was just saying, that big game for both teams, it's going to be a tough game for Manchester United, I think it's going to be a tough afternoon for Manchester United, United are coming back off a loss here, it would have been nice if United would have won that game against Chelsea to have some sort of some confidence going against Liverpool we just have to learn from it dust ourselves off go again now against Liverpool it's a big game on Sunday now the biggest rival biggest rivalry we hate each other we're going to war with Liverpool yet again it's round two for Liverpool for Liverpool this is going to be we want revenge we've got to win this game because we want to keep our hopes alive for the league as well they want to try and beat us at Old Trafford as well the topsy-turvy game against Liverpool in the FA Cup it's all about let's go and do it again on Liverpool it's a big game for both teams Liverpool will know that they've got to win this for the title race United on the other hand it's going to be a big game we can't afford to lose this to be honest with you we don't want to drop points against Liverpool they're our biggest rivals you've got to get right up for this as well it's going to be a tough game big game for Manchester United but we have to do a bit of both that possession when Liverpool are on, coming on the front foot we have to keep it defensively tight and compact for straight Liverpool stop them at all different angles coming in at every single different angle coming into this game Liverpool Looking for a fast start on the front for aggressive, ruthless, aggression with lots of energy, high intensity, high tempo with intense conviction in their play. They'll get in between the lines, they'll make runs in from behind, they'll look to cause us problems. United can cause Liverpool problems as well. We've got the quality to do that as well. It's all about what we do in and out of possession. I think when we've got possession, it's just about the right decision making. Let's work it, let's get the ball out wide, play with width as well. And we can cause them problems in our channels and we can definitely go and export if space is high up the pit. Liverpool have got mistakes in them as well i think they can see stupid goals at times make mistakes as well i said i think they've just got to stay patient we need a professional disciplined and strong performance it'll be tough it'll be a challenge and we've got to mess up Pop's farewell tour and i think if we win this it'll be massive and yet again it'll just reboot us reset us or give us that confidence again and it'll be just one of those games where we saw we can beat liverpool we can beat anyone at the end of the day we're beating liverpool once this season let's go and do it again on sunday there's three points up for grabs here against liverpool it's a big game for both teams liverpool don't want to lose this either United don't want to lose this either but it's an old trough the fans will get right behind the players the fans will get right behind Ten Hag as well Ten Hag's come under a lot of pressure recently and got a lot of unfair criticism over the last couple of days as well at the end of the day look big game for Manchester United we're in for a big game all the fact that if they come on the front foot soak it up and we get possession we have to make the right decision making going forward and it's all about make that right pass and then when we get our chances it's all about when we get our chances show that composure show that sharpness We've got to take risks We've got to be brave as well when we get our chances Chances. You've got to be clinical, you've got to take your chances. That's what it's all about. First goal is going to be crucial in big games like this against Liverpool. It's a big game, we don't want to lose. Come on, Reg, you've got this in you. You can do it on Liverpool. We've done it once, we can do it again. Let's do it twice on Liverpool. You're going to war. We're looking forward to this game on Sunday. We've just got to dust ourselves off, go again, learn from that out from Chelsea. Put that behind us. Big game on Sunday. Let's look forward to it. Three points are up for grabs here. Just got to show the fight, the passion, the pride. Pay for the badge, pay for the glove. Show the team spirit, character, determination, commitment, desire, willingness, work rate, and worth it. We've got to play with courage, intent, conviction, purpose. And we've got to turn up as well. Liverpool are scoring 2.3 goals per game. Liverpool are conceding 0.9 goals per game. Liverpool have won 21 games, drew 7 and have lost 2 as well. And both of those games have been lost away from home as well. So maybe 
It's on the cards yet again. Liverpool. Liverpool have played 28 games. They've won 21, drawn 7, and they've lost 2. And they've lost 2 games away from home this season. The place to look out for it. K. Rilla, Gomez, Van Dijk, Konata, Dissimikas, Roberts, Kwanzaa, Bradley, Endo, Zadar, Sabazlai, McAllister, Elliot, Graven, Birch, Clark, Connell, Diaz, Nunes, Salah, Gappa, Gordon, Doer, Kumas, and Dan. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you want to. I'll see you guys in the video in the next couple of days. And peace. <laughs>